Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of season 2 and as you can see we've got Blythe Spartans in the FA Cup second round qualifying. We're at home which is a, I'll probably say pretty solid to have to be honest with you. And yeah so we've got Blythe Spartans who are managed by Lee Clark who to be honest I'm actually quite surprised. I had to check that to see if he was there in real life and he is. So yeah I'm quite surprised by that. So let's have a quick look at what you've missed while you've been away. So, since the last game, the 2 all draw with Welland Garden C, we played Sutton Carfield and Friendly 1-3-1. But then, we played Kempston and we won 4-1. Fantastic result for us. Luke Hurst getting a hat-trick and Montel Gibson getting a goal as well. Uh, but then, we played Biggleswade Town and drew 0-0, which was a bit frustrating. And it got even worse. We played Rugby and they drew... Well, oh, no, they didn't drew. They beat us 1-0. Again, another frustrating result for us. But very bounced back in the FA Trophy second round qualifying with a 2-0 victory over Greys, Athletic. Uh, Bavaria played AFC Dunstable, beat them 2-1. Hurst and Darren Murray, I'll show you him in a minute, with the goals. And in the most recent game against Yaxley, we won 4-0. And it was at Luke Hurst with a goal, Danielson Carvalho get himself a brace, and Montel Gibson with the goal as well. So we seem to be hitting form again now, which is great, and hopefully we can continue that with today's game as well. It's just going to be the one game as well. But I'll also show you a couple of the signings we've made. First one through the door was Angelo Capello uh, from Sheffield United, brought him in on free transfer, got released. Next one through the door is a young centre-back called Jeshon uh, Chamberlain-Gale, and to be honest with you, I actually quite like him. Very quick, all right mentalities for this level, and good technicals. We've brought in a new striker called Darren Murray. Uh, he's an, played non-league, also played in Ireland as well. Been around a bit, 289 games he's played in his career, and scored 127 goals. So I'm happy to pick him up. Good technicals on the finishing side, and some very good physicals, and some solid mentals as well. And we've brought in another striker, just signed. His name is Harvey Bradbury. And I'll be completely honest with you, he looks an absolute beast of a signing for £275 a week as well. He should be absolutely colossus for us. Hopefully he scores plenty of goals and he's got 58 ks worth. I think potentially we could get that for him, so we could look to sell him. And he's got two years on his contract as well, so... Fingers crossed, he will score a lot of goals for us. So, we've got Winchley in goal. Maybe for the time being, we might have a new goalkeeper coming in. Woodcock right back, Brookwell and Chamberlain at centre back, with Barnett at left back. We got Woolerton right mid, Saunders, Carvalho in the middle, and Capello on the left, with Lucas and Bradbury up front to start off with. That might change, we've got plenty of options go in the forward line to mix things up if we need to so now we've got a little man big man partnership which i am very happy with but yeah anyway enough of me waffling on let's go straight into the game so here we are at home today more crowd in there than what we're used to seeing on it but which is good and but they've got the first chance scott to on the ball adam's now on it can they make anything happen or can we win it back and we've got plenty of pace up top at the moment and plenty of pace on the bench as well so you know, cause a few problems if, it, if they start to get a bit tired. But Adams is going, it plays it back. Adams again. And they have a shot blocked and cleared away by Woodcock. That's good defending. I'm quite happy with that so far. As uh, Yeah, we get to the seventh minute now. Boot over the top. Bradbury with a flick on. And Hurst, I thought he was going to get there first, but the defender just gets there. And that's the thing, we got height now up front, which uh, if we're putting lots of crosses into the area, that should be able to help with. Carvalho. What can he do? Plays it back to Barnett. See, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. we got a Brazilian in midfield. We've got plenty of options going forward. We should be playing some fantastic football this season. Hopefully. We're playing 4-4-2. Oh, and we give the wall like there. Barnett does a Brook Scheib straight at uh, Winchley, which is quite easy for him, to be honest with you. But so far, we've not played well. Which is obviously is not great. I'm going to jump up to more attacking. And I'll demand more. Come on, lads, we're better than this. They're fully focused on the game now, which is good. Woodcock, Saunders, cross block, but Woodcock was there. Ball whipped in, headed away. We get that ball first. We do. Carvalho to Chamberlain. 
out wide to Capello to Barnett. Oh, good boy, top Bradbury with a flick on her scores, but he's offside. Oh, I thought he scored, but he isn't. It's offside. Let's have a look at here. There it is. Ball flick tight. Oh, come on, Lino. How can you give that? That is absolutely ridiculous. He's quite clearly onside there. Oh, man, that is annoying. So, yeah, so far, nil-nil. Uh, hmm. Is there anything we can do? We're on attacking now. We've still got another chance. Barnett. Oh, a terrible throwing. My boot it clear, but Chamberlain Gale plays it forward. Saunders that wise to Capello. Capello ball across to Wolofson. Over the bar. Not great with the header, but it's been a very even game at the moment. I've had a little bit more possession, but they're side in the league above, so they should do. We haven't we haven't had many chances of thought. Good tackle by Saunders there. Capello now. Carvalho cross blot. Plays it back out wide to Capello. Ball across, headed away. Are they going to get the highlight? Scott plays it forward, but Saunders picks it up. They boot it long, and it's straight to their player again. They win the ball back, and the header on. Oh, Wallerton wins it back. Carvalho now. Plays that wide to Capello. Capello, can he get past his man? Ball across, Wallerton. Over the top of the bar again. They're overhitting these crosses. I want it onto the six foot three striker's head, which is Bradbury. Hmm, I keep crossing over to the back post. I don't think he can edit. Hmm, okay. Not happy with the performance so far. I think we can be playing a bit better. So, come on, highlight, that's it. Uh, not happy performance. Okay, that did nothing apart from uh, Chamberlain being a bit demotivated. He's going to have to toughen up if he wants to uh, be like that. Oh, hang on, hang on. Something's happened. My silly mouse changed these positions around. Yeah, for some reason my mouse is playing up and it keeps doing stuff like that. Okay, it's not working so far. Let's demand a bit more ball. I'm going to drop it down to positive. So I don't want to be leaving, leaving ourselves wide open. We've got a chance though. Chamberlain Gale. Right, it taking his time out wide to Barrett. We boot it long. Bradbury now. He's played a crossfield ball, but not really to anybody. I might try and change it because I feel like we're going too long. It's a bit wayward passing. Maybe we want it a bit shorter. But Wollerton gets past his man, shoots over the top of the bar. Not a great finish. So let's change it up. We'll go standard passing. Uh, hmm. And I'm going to clip play out of defence. Try passing out the defence a bit more. I don't want him just booting it. And we'll distribute two defenders and try and work our way out the area. To be honest with you, I do think we have good enough players. We're still looking to try and get out wide and get crosses into the area. I'm happy to do that. We'll try and hit some early crosses into the area as well. At the moment, if we're not hitting early crosses, it's just quite easy for them to defend against. So that might be a bit better for us if we do it like that. But, so far, not great. So, Capello's knackered. We've got some players playing poorly at the moment. So we're going to take... We'll put... Yeah, because Brookwell is a very good midfielder still. So we'll put him on. Put Downing in defence because Downing's a solid defender. But what I'm going to put do is put you as a ball winning midfielder defend. Or do you prefer to be support? No, defend. And we'll put Carvalho as a centre midfield. Oh, what am I doing? I clicked on the wrong person. Centre midfield attack. So he gets further forward and we can look to get him hopefully scoring goals. That's the aim. And I'm going to take Kirst off and I'm going to put Montel Gibson on. Uh... Yeah, we'll leave it like that for the time. Actually, we'll swap it over. And I'll got to get Darren Murray on in a minute at right midfield because Wollerton is not having a good game. Adams with the throw. Standing on it. Baker. I've still got the ball. This could go to a replay. Down with the header. But Hawkins, a strike off the bar. And, ooh, Winchley gets there first before the ball trickled into the back of the net. And we got a bit lucky there. Like Wollerton's going to come off and we're going to put Murray there yeah that's the sub we'll make and I'm going to go more attacking actually should I, I could chuck these guys further forward as well yeah I think they might prefer that because those guys can do that quite well so we'll do that 
and see if we and yeah, we're already on attacking. We'll get creative as well. And hopefully we can create a chance. But I've got the corner. Ball whipped in. Hunter with a header cleared off the line by Barnett. And Carvalho kicks it clear. But Gibson's on it. But loses out. Doesn't take the ball in. And we've had lots of chances. But only had two on target. Which is obviously not great. Capello with the ball whipped in. Headed away. But Downing's going to get there first. I hope. He does just about. We've cut down the line. But straight to Thompson. Thomas even. He's coming forward now as Thomas. Still coming forward. Shoots early and it's wired to the near post. It's worth a go, I suppose, but... What's the man more again in seconds? The get creative didn't really work as much as I wanted. Coming towards the end of the game and that's it, full time. Uh, no extra time today. It's uh, going to go to a replay and let's have a quick look. You know what? We might come back for it. That wasn't good enough. We should be winning that game. The team agreed with me, to be honest. The team did agree with me. So, yeah, the game is in three days' time. So, we'll come back for the second leg, well, the replay of that now. So, there's been a bit of an issue. We oh, we did the second match, but for some reason, the audio just never worked on it. So, I've decided I'm going to play the... Just show the quick highlights of all the goals... Then we'll discuss what happened after and we'll go through what's going to happen in the next episode. So, yeah, just hang on and the highlights will be with you in a sec. Okay, now back onto me. Carvalho with a free kick in, headed away. Bradbury with a goal. Harvey Bradbury scores. I already know the score, but I'm trying to make this sound exciting just because, you know. But to be fair, that's his first goal for the club and it's a nice big finish by the tall lad. They've got a corner. They've whipped it in, though. It's cleared away. Can we, uh, win the ball back here. We're one nil up though against Blythe Spartans away from home. I think that's pretty good. Don't bother looking down at the bottom of the corner because yeah he has no idea what's happened here, does he? Let's be completely honest. Trap one is on the ball. What can he do? Plays it back. Sensibly, you know, it's always good to be sensible. He's on the ball again. Plays a cross field ball to I can't see who it was, but that's a great ball and Wolverton scores. Wollerton with a fantastic goal. I think it was Woodcock with the assist. And uh yeah what a Typical, I sneeze halfway through. And, uh, yeah, we're 2-0 up now with 22 minutes on the clock. And here's another highlight. As I said, just clipped it down to the highlights. And they're on the ball. You know, taking the time. They boot it long, but Woolerton wins it back for us. And we'll cock on it. They play it forward again. Hurst on it again. Plays it back to Woodcock. Woodcock plays it back inside to Brookwell. Ball over top. And it's Bradbury. Only gets makes it free. 23 minutes on the clock. Harvey Bradbury gets his second goal of the game. And it's his second goal of the club as well in his second game. And, yeah, this new signing looks like he could be very, very good. It's a wonderful ball there by Brookwell and a lovely finish. And, yeah, it was straight on to the fourth highlight now. 64th minute. And... Can we make it for? I don't know. Woolerton gets the ball. And he wins the head for Bradbury and he make, gets the hat trick. And I know I said I didn't know. But I did know because I've already seen it and played it through. And it is 4-0 to Hale's own town against Blythe Spartans. And yeah, that is it for the game. What a fantastic header. So yeah, a nice 4-0 victory for us against Blythe Spartans. So we're through to the next round. We are playing Braintree Town. Can't remember if it's home and away. Uh, but that'll be the next episode. But it's going to be a double header. Because we've also got Bath City in the... I think it's the FA Trophy. Or is this the FA Trophy? I'm not, I'm not 100% sure myself. But yeah, we'll be back for those two games. And that will be Friday. That will be out. So I do hope you enjoy it. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.